Hey guys, welcome back. It's day, I don't even know what day of April this is, but I know for me, it's a Wednesday. And I've woken up feeling so excited and so happy, I suppose because this week has been so good, guys. I sold my car on Monday. That's a job done that I've it's been waiting for months. Great, my savings have been replenished. Tuesday, filmed my showreel. Felt amazing to be acting again and taking control of my future a bit, although I am nervous to see how it turned out. Today, I got an offer of a representation from a management I'm also getting, we're going to the gym now. I'm just waiting for Keegan to get in the car. I'll turn the engine on, actually warm it up in here. Cause it's rainy and cold today. We're getting our haircuts. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing cause it was my cousin's wedding on Friday. So need to get my haircut. I still haven't got my suit sorted and it's Wednesday and my cousin's wedding's on Friday. I ordered three pairs of different size trousers to try and match my suit jacket, but they've not arrived yet. So basically if they don't arrive today, tomorrow I'm gonna have to do a very last minute dash to the shops to try and find some trousers that match my suit jacket. And if I don't find any, I'll have to buy a whole new suit. So the stakes are high guys, but I'm, I'm risking it. I'm feeling positive, I'm feeling happy. It's Easter weekend this weekend. I'm gonna have an Easter egg. Uh, it's all great, but how are you guys? What are you doing this Easter weekend? I don't know if in the UK Everyone gets off Friday and Monday. So good Friday and Easter Monday. So it's a four-day weekend So everyone is in the best mood um, Obviously, it doesn't really apply to me as someone self-employed But I wonder if that's the same way you live if you're not from the UK Let me know what you do for Easter. Do you even recognize Easter? Or are your bosses just like no come into work? Keegan's here guys. I'm here. We've woken up feeling quite positive, haven't we? Well, I have. Doing up masters. <laughs> well, I don't. I feel like I'm having a very good week this week. And I, I don't know. I think, I also get annoyed at myself for basing my enjoyment of a week on productivity. Because mm. then I'm like. Hashtag toxic. Yeah, hashtag toxic productivity. But yeah, it's good. I'm excited to go to the gym with you. Um, I honestly do not want to go to the gym. <laughs> You're aching all over. Yeah, but that's just, I've, I've not been the past couple of days, so... Um, you did do rugby training yesterday and you cycled 50 minutes there and 50 minutes back, so you've, you've done exercise. It only took me 40 minutes to get there. Did it? Yesterday. Oh, well done. My week has been... It's actually been quite productive, but it's not... It's not gone as I planned it to, so it feels like... Oh, it's not been productive, but I've still got the stuff, yeah. most of the stuff done that I wanted to get done. Um, I know what you mean, because you didn't plan for it, you feel like you failed because you haven't stuck to the plan, but you actually haven't. Yeah, I've just rejigged the plan. Yeah, it's fine. On the hoof. On the hoof. But I've just written a list of all the jobs that we're going to do over the Easter weekend. Okay. Let's see how that goes. Can now. you give me a little taster? The hot tub water and filters need changing. Okay. In preparation for the service that Ben's going to do. Oh yes. Um, then we jet wash the decking. Yeah. The fence. Yeah. Oh, because we've just bought our jet washer, guys. Yeah. So exciting. The dizzy heights. <laughs> um, the drive, the paths can all be jet washed. Yeah. The drawers in our bathroom being yeah. sorted out. Yeah. It's chaos in there. The spare room. Yeah, that needs it sorting. It needs clearing. I know. Look, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Do something about That's it. Then. Well, I need storage. You don't have a loft, and the garage is already like full. It's so it's full. like I don't really know where to full. put things. The garage is not full. That's cockamamie storage. No, but I know as soon as I start filling the garage, you'll go right. The garage needs sorting out. Sorry. You don't even say sorry. I, 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 I'm not Gemma Collin. <laughs> you just suddenly turned out six. Sorry! Sorry, no! Um, and what was the other job? Just like making sure all washing and ironing is yeah. done. <coughs> okay. I'm looking forward to a few days off, off actually. Yeah, like the weekend these days. Yes. Yeah. Me too. Well, hopefully we can wake up Saturday morning in our hotel in York and feel fresh and go, cool, let's car pay the diem, let's get home, pick up the dogs, get jobs done, and then, like, relax. Yeah, get jobs done, yeah. How's the April going? <sighs> Do you know what, I just feel like at the moment, even though, I've, like I said, I've been fairly busy, I just feel like, even today I picked up the camera and was like, I have nothing to talk about, nothing new, this is boring, we're just going to the gym, and then getting a haircut and like, just, but then I know lots of people say that they love the more mundane vlogs because it's like, a peek into someone else's normal life as opposed to someone going, I'm going to Australia for the weekend. Do you know what I mean? Not that anyone. 
lot. But you know, like the unrelatable things that people do, and they're quite nice as escapism sometimes, but not all the time. Sometimes you do just want to see someone live a normal life. Okay. But yeah, I am struggling at the moment because I'm like, this is only, I've only posted four of April videos so far, and I'm like, are they boring? I don't know. Well, you've got Easter weekend. Yeah. I'll record you doing all the jobs. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. And then next week, I think we might go to Blackpool with the kids, mightn't we? Yeah. So that could be a day, a day out. out with the kids. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I'll film much of the wedding. <laughs> Imagine me turning up to my cousin's wedding, like, "Hey guys, filming." I definitely won't be doing that. Hang on. Okay. I'm a vlogger. I'm a vlogger now. Uh, I've actually got a new vlog out if you'd like to see it. Yeah. Check out my channel. Okay. You're nearly at 10,000 subscribers. Emma, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, I saw this, this morning you're like 9,900, no, 9,099. It was all the nines except for zero. zero. <laughs> yeah, very good. Well, news just in. Tell them what's happened, Joe. We just had to do a U turn because the traffic, the traffic is it's, insane. It's so bad. It's queuing all the way down the hill and then up the hill into town. It should be a five, ten minute journey. That would have been like over half an hour. And the rest. Yeah. We've already been in the car 15 minutes. Oh, that's hot. That's annoying. I was in the mood to work out. <laughs> you're, you're like, oops. Should we go for brunch? Mimosas! <laughs> no. Oh well, I'll go for a run on the treadmill at some stage. Maybe not this morning. Or maybe, I don't know. I like doing an evening run. I'm enjoying that recently. Yeah. yeah. Even though I'm in my gym kit, I don't think I'm going to go for a run. <laughs> I'm actually really hungry, so I'm making some eggs. Um, some three fried eggs. And I put the lid on because I don't like runny yolks. So this cooks the yolks all the way through. And I've just made Keegan a coffee and taken it to him. And here's mine. In my favorite of the Starbucks mugs. This is the Florida one. Keegan's having a lovely little bath upstairs, a bubble bath. Anyway, Happy Healthy Homer episode four comes out in just over an hour's time. So I need to do some work for that. Um, so it's probably a blessing in disguise. I'm not going to the gym and I'm also having a phone call with my mum. And then, yeah crack on with the rest of the day but I suppose this is what vlogging every day does doesn't it it just it is everyday life so there will be mundane things but I just feel very self-conscious that I'm like that I'm not doing anything that interesting guys but hey ho that's vlogger life in it right guys I've had a chat with my mum and I got this delivery from Aperol Spritz let's have a look oh my gosh there's some goodies in here oh here's a letter ciao Joel congratulations I don't, congratulations in Italian. Congratulazioni on your new podcast, Happy Healthy Homo. Thank you guys. Hope you can relax and have a glass of Aperol Spritz. Now a few episodes are out. Here's a little present from us as you begin your podcasting journey. Lots of love, the Aperol UK team. Oh, thank you so much. And there was an Aperol event that I couldn't attend, so they said, we know you can't, couldn't attend, so we've included a little goodie bag that you missed out on. <gasps> an Aperol Spritz disposable camera. Oh, not disposable, it's a digital instant print camera, like a Polaroid camera. That is so cool. And then, oh, what's, oh my gosh. An Aperol neon sign, live on air. Maybe I should take that to the podcast studio. That is so cool. That is so thoughtful, guys. Thank you so much. As you guys know, I've worked with Aperol quite a few times. They're a brand partner of mine. Um, this isn't sponsored by them. This has all just been gifted to me from them. Um, I absolutely love the team at Aperol and obviously love Aperol, it goes without saying. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. That is so kind and a new tote bag, love a tote. Right guys, haircut done, had a fresh trim. Um, the only slot was the same hairdresser to do me and then do Keegan. So I've actually got half an hour now, and even though it's drizzly and a bit rainy, I want to get my steps up, but I actually walked past a charity shop and went, I'm going to have a look inside, and bought a book. Some of you all know that I've been reading How to Stop Worrying and Start Living by Dale Carnegie, or Carnegie, I'm not sure how you say it, and this is his original book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, that I haven't read, it's the most iconic book, apparently. <laughs> even the woman, as I pay for it, she was like, this book is brilliant. And anyway, it was 99p and looks pretty much brand new. So yeah, I'll add that to my never ending pile of books. <laughs> I really did not need to buy one, but hey. So this building, what do you think it is? Like now, I don't know if it, it obviously wasn't built for this purpose. Obviously it was a church, I think. So it says on that plaque, glory to God, 
It's now an Indian restaurant. Isn't that amazing? Look, you can see there, Sundays to Wednesdays, you can eat for eight ninety five. dollars um, I really want to eat there. Firstly, I love Indian food, and secondly, what? This is an Indian restaurant? Mad. I'd love to know what it originally was, but it looks like it was some place of religious importance. And I forgot to finish the vlog. So this is me finishing off the vlog. Thank you for watching. As I said in another video, sorry that some of these are a bit shorter. I genuinely am struggling with April. I didn't struggle with Vlogvember as much as I thought, but I'm really struggling with April. A, I'm questioning everything. I'm like, is this even worth doing? Is anyone even enjoying it? B, I'm struggling with things to film. And I'm like, oh, this is boring. I won't film this. No, I don't film that. No, no, no. Like I'm finding it hard to do it. And I feel like no one's enjoying it, but I think that's just my worrisome brain. So I will see, I will keep going. I wanna do a minimum of 10 days of April. And then if I fail, then at least I can say, well, I did a third of April. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comments if you're enjoying it. I hope you have a great Easter weekend, guys. I am gonna film, uh, well, actually, I don't know what I will film tomorrow because I'll be at the wedding most of the time. So I will come up with a video. Maybe I'll do a Copenhagen vlog. Um, that can go up on Saturday. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye